guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm here with a review, and um, let me bring you back in. This review, it, we're, I'm basically going to talk about words, and I'm going to talk about where you could get words. Um, this is just a few of my little drawers that I have that have words stuck in them, and I just wanted to go through a little bit and show you that, you know, they are everywhere. Words are every, every, everywhere. Of course, you've got your basic magazines, right? So as you're looking through the magazines, even like a cooking magazine, um, Sweet Settings, okay, that probably came out of a like a some type of a magazine. It might have to do with the cooking. Um, the Short List, Where the Color Will Take You. I mean, there is so much, the one thing that is a sure thing, um, this came out of a magazine, a favorite quote, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. All right, these are words that have been put together on a form and um, printed out on with a color background, and these are Gina Aaron's. You can check these out in her Digi shop. Uh, again, this is a magazine. Courage has is fear that has said its prayers. Give Yourself Permission to Play by Pam Carricker. Again, this came out of a um, Somerset Studio magazine. Every hour should be happy. For the Love of. Who knows? It was a magazine. Um, change can begin in this moment. Again, this is from a magazine. I get a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff from my magazines. Um, this came in... Uh, I don't know, some type of packet. When life gives you lemons, ask, is that all you've got? Wake up like every day is. Changed my body. Do you have chronic widespread pain? How to bounce back. Um, spoil yourself. All right, this is a thing of, let's see. I have no idea what this came out of. But it's got some pretty cool words on here. It has some pretty cool labels on here also. Um, it looks like it might have been a, I don't know, it's cooking courses, um, leftovers. Has to, I'd say something to do with cooking, but that's in there. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, gather around. This came off uh, something that was, um, I think, a sticker somewhere. Ooh, it's raining really bad outside right now. We're still getting the After Effects of Florence, so that can tell you guys how quick ahead I taped this. <laughs> um, again, magazines, road games, what else? I know there's something else in here besides magazines, so let's look. This was a piece of scrapbook paper that I cut it all up and got the words out of. Um, like I said, a ton of magazines. I always um, look in the magazines. I always check out um, any type of scrapbook paper, see if I can cut it up. Oh, uh, let's see. These, I have no idea. The more light within you. These were done, I might have uh, taken these and printed them out on cardstock. Not sure. More, mem more magazines. Let's see. Oh, these are the Dina Wakely um, collage words. These are really cool. Um, if you get these, there's a whole bunch of words in the packet. I think I've shown you guys these before. And they're done like on a little tissue paper. So they're fantastic. You put them down and then all you see is the words. You don't actually see the tissue paper, which is really cool. All right. Um, ah, come off. Come on. The, uh, ah, wants to stick to it. Man, it is pouring outside. All right. Um... And these are magazines. Uh, this was a piece of um, scrapbook paper that I just cut apart. Another piece of scrapbook paper I cut apart. Um, these are, I took some stamps. And these are Gina Aaron's stamps. And I took these and um, stamped them out so I could use them. Of course, these are like the Tim Holtz words that you can buy in the little books. 
This is just a um, die cut or what? It, I'm not sure what you want to call it. Just a die cut. Let's see. This came off a calendar. Do all things with kindness. I actually I cut the whole calendar apart. I'm trying to see because these are a lot of magazines. Must be these are my magazine ones. Again, I will take words like this um, that I have of stamps and just do them on cardstock, white cardstock with black ink. I use archival ink and then that way, um, whatever I put over top of it, it doesn't run. This came out of a magazine. Choose your protection. <laughs> tags. Some tags out there have them printed on them. Oh, hello there. Summertime. Uh, this came off, I don't know, I think this was a lesson that I did a while back and I had printed out the, um, the instructions. And so there's the words from that. And my kitty cat's going to join us. Again, this is off a of calendar. It says, Just Be You. These are calendars. Dream Big. Um, more scrapbook paper. Calendars. I have a kitty cat that's joining me. All right, so let me just, so anyways, um, my whole point with this video is not just magazines. Look at your scrapbook papers. Look at your cooking magazines. Look at um, everywhere. Words are everywhere, guys. You can, if you put your mind to it and you start looking, you're going to find so many words out there. Look at this. This is all just stuff if I'm sitting in, in front of the TV at night and I decide I want to, you know, get rid of some magazines, I will, um, hmm, I will put, cut out the words. This one says, it's not up to you anyway whether you survive or not. You're not in charge of this life. I don't think that's right, but, uh, let's see. Just any kind of words you can find everywhere. You can write your own. You can look in magazines. You can look in books. You can look in newspapers. You can look on calendars. You can look on anything you can think of. Food packaging. Um, any type of food packaging. Always has really good words like a delish or something of that nature. I'm trying to see what else is in here. Die cuts, calendars. Um, this is where, um, this is called words in a jar. I'm not sure where I got this one. But you can do another thing you can do is go on your computer and just make a great big huge list of words that you like. And then print them out and use them. Very, very simple. Um, not just for beginners. I mean, even if the words don't make sense, like... Okay, a keen sense of wander. All right, that's fine. What if I just want um, wander? Or what if I just want sense? Or what if I just want a keen sense? Uh, it doesn't matter how many words are in there. I usually pick out the ones that I really like. I love surprising you, finding freedom. Um, and then I just cut them all out. Let's see what's in this one. I think I need a bigger drawer for these. Um, this one, again, has printed... This is where I stamped on colored paper. Uh, this is where I stamped with a colored um, uh, ink pad. Again, more words just, you know, printed out on the computer. Hold on to your dream. That one's from a calendar. These are all just um, either stamped. Yeah, most of these are stamped. Um, just stamp them on cardstock and then I use them. This is, hi Abby, this is Abby <laughs> who decided to make her debut in this video. Um, these come out of, off of magazine, or uh, a calendar too. And like for example this one, really Abby, come on, move your bunner. Um, like this one. There, th I don't want this whole thing, but there's words on here that I can use. It says, the field of intention allows everything to emanate into form, and its unlimited potential is built into all that has manifested, even before its initial birth pangs were being expressed. Now, that is not something I'm going to put down on a page, 
but it has the word intention um, excuse me has the word intention everything um, unlimited potential um, things like that I, I won't use all of it but don't be surprised I mean I will use some of the words uh, this is again a, a newspaper or a magazine that's another place check your newspapers um, check your calendars check your everything words are everywhere guys so I just wanted to give you a little um, just a little tip and and where I get all my words from um, I get them everywhere anytime I see something if I see you know if I'm making a let's say I throw a frozen pizza in and I see some words on the box that I really like I cut them out and I bring them in and I stick them in a drawer and then that way whenever I want to do something with any type of words I have all different styles I have all different colors I have all different sizes and you know it's it's great to play with so just a heads up um, Abby's leaving uh, I hope you guys you know I hope it helps I don't know if it will but as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you'd like and don't forget to have fun that's what life's all about happy creating I'll talk to you later bye